Welcome back to QFITS View. In this video, we'll look at image surface fitting. That's fitting Gaussian and Sersic 2D functions to images. In the simplest case, I'll fit a Gaussian profile to an image of a galaxy. I'll just load up that image. Image example one. We've seen this one before. Simply place the cursor at the center of the galaxy and press the G key. You get a window with the best Gaussian fit parameters. That is the offset, the height, the center, major and minor axes, full width, half maximum, the angle, the total flux, and the chi-squared goodness of fit. You can control the fitting aperture window. This should be wide enough to encompass the background level. So if I reduce the fit window until it just is big enough, then you can see the parameters change. You have to make a judgment call on the size of that window. You can also control whether it's a Gaussian or a Sersic profile. With the Sersic profile, you get the effective radius, RE, the diskiness, which is much the same as the full width half maximum ratio, and the Sersic index. You can also force the Sersic index by clicking on the fix Sersic index at whatever your value you like. You could put, say, a Sersic index of 2 in there. You can save the results either to a new buffer or to the clipboard. I'll do the clipboard first and then I will copy fit result to new buffer. And as you can see, we have the values here of the various parameters and their errors. I'll also show you the copied values that can be pasted into any text application. And there they are, QFITS view 2D fit with the parameter names and the values. You can also create a new buffer from the fit using this button, new button from fit, and that creates a, in this case, Gaussian fit with the same parameters as was fitted to the original image. So if you subtract the two, and you can do this through DP user, so you could say buffer four equals buffer one minus buffer three, and there we have the residuals. As you can see, the center is a little more peaky, and there are some residuals around the periphery of the galaxy. We can also generate a radial profile from any position. Place the cursor on the center of the point in which to create the radial profile from. Do right click and do radial profile from this position. This uses the radial profile DP user function, as you can see down here, saying give me a radial profile from pixel 2969. We can also generate an elliptical profile which is more accurate than the simple radial profile. We do this through the menu MRED Analysis Elliptical Profile. You can use the parameters of the Sersic or Gaussian fit. In this case we enter on 29 68 is the central pixel. The angle I know is minus 1.6 and the aspect ratio, which I also know, is 0.72. And you leave the width as 1. Do the store result in new buffer and press OK. You then get the profile, which follows the ellipticity of the image. Here is an enlargement of the image with the elliptical profile overlaid, showing the angle, the aspect ratio, the center, and the step width. This is shown while you're entering the details into the parameters box for the elliptical profile. You can also manually set the center and the angle of the elliptical profile by clicking, and as you can see, the mouse cursor shape changes, and you can move the center. And also, if you go out beyond the arrow some way, 
you can see that it turns into a little round circled arrow and you can rotate the angle there. And if you look at the parameters, it's changed the center and the angle. And I'll demonstrate changing the center again. And as you can see, the center is now changed. And then you could do OK. There we are. Since version 4.1, there is a new facility to interface surface fits to GalFit, which is a 2D profile fitting package from Chen Peng at Carnetiki. After doing a standard surface Gaussian fit, say like that, there is a pass to GalFit button. We just click that and we get this form interface with the parameters pre-filled in. You click Run to pass these parameters over to GalFit and the image. That then returns the output, which is displayed in this text box. Click in there and select for all, and then copy. And then you can copy this to a text editor. Note that you can have not only the data image, but you can also have a Sigma image, a PSF image, and a bad pixel mask. Please see the documentation on GalFit for the complete details on these parameters. A couple of points to notice. The path to the GalFit is set in the QFIT2 preferences paths, GalFit executable. And you click on this little dot 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 button to set the path. Another point is that you must have right access to the current working directory. The parameter form uses temporary files, so you must be able to write those. You can find the working directory by the command pwd. You can also access galfit through file galfit. In this case, you have to enter your own parameters, and you can enter the components by clicking on this button and say producing a Gaussian component in which you can actually put the parameters in. You can also estimate the sky component by adding sky. That's all for this video. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel.